Okay, guys, let's take a look at this one here. Um, this is one that's a little bit more tricky to fix because, uh, well, let me just show you the code over here. So let's come in here. Here's here's my solution to it. And I have much higher level solutions than this. And so once we get into the how to turn it into an order form and a sales page and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, we'll get into higher order stuff on this. But uh, right now, if we come in here, let's just click and inspect this. <clears throat> um, let's open this up. So what we have here is we have the membership nav. Yeah, the memberships nav overlay. So this again only appears in here if you're running the Wasabi OTO. If you're not, you won't see the section, you won't see the lessons, you won't see anything. But in the Wasabi OTO, then you do see this, uh, the, the lessons and the header right there and you get this. Well, the problem with it is, you see down here where it says access restricted. There's no way to be able to target that element. There's no way to be able to target that text because it doesn't have any P tags around it. It really should have some P tags around it. And as I'm saying that, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if I could grab it and add some P tags to it. But I've tried this changing the text. I've tried other things and basically just wipes the whole thing out. Um, so I think my solution is actually better, which is what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to tell it, grab a hold of the center tag right here and just remove everything that's inside of it. So if I close up the center tag, you're going to see that's all the stuff. I'm just going to remove it and just gone with it. Okay. So this also changes how you set up your, your, um, your Wasabi OTO because basically you can use any order form, any OTO, any anything because at this point, it's, we're going to tell it where we want it to go. We're not going to use the, what was here, my, my OTO page. We're not going to use that. We're just going to tell it to go wherever we want this thing to go. So in some ways it's a better fix uh, because we're not, we, I mean, you could put in an active order form page for something else if you wanted to even here, because once we get in here, we're just completely ripping it out anyway. All we're doing is basically putting the structure into it. And so what I did up here then is I took a button, I made a button and I'll show you that in a second. And then all I did is I put it inside of this membership nav overlay. So I took the button from somewhere else and I stuck it in here. And now when we click on that, it's going to take me to Google. So like I said, it will take you anywhere you want to go at that point. So let us go back over to this page. And at first I tried it with some text. I didn't really like the way that looked. And then I thought, well, why don't I do the same button trick that I showed you earlier today already? And so we'll just come in here, we'll open up this button and uh, first off, you know, set your mar. You probably probably leave the margin where it is. I mean, it's looking just fine right there. And uh, so I guess I'm talking over here and looking over here. That's funny. Um, so then you just put in whatever text you want as your main text and your subtext. That's why there's two lines of text on there. And then you set your font sizes and your text color right here. And then make the background color transparent if you want, or you could make it red. You can make it any color you wanted as well. I mean, if you made it red, it would prop, you know, stand out even more like, Hey, here's this big red button. Click on it. So actually setting it to red is not a bad idea. Let me just do that here. Uh, let me see. Let's go five, seven. All right. So now we just made ourselves a big dark red button and you can always come in here and with a little CSS, we could change that sub text uh, to make that a uh, bigger font size as well. And then what I always do is so I come in, I click on flat, I flatten the whole thing out, then change your colors, change your font sizes. And then again, I came in here and I did a dark with highlight on the back, back the box shadow. And so that's what we have. And then in the tracking code, no CSS, unless you want to change that subtext, which you can. Uh, but in the oops, wrong one in the tracking code, then I simply say, take what is section one L membership nav overlay center and remove it. Now, in this case here, I'm saying that uh, it'll be this one up here. In fact, 
where we put this in. See, we got a button in here now uh, instead of the text that's down here. Uh, in this case, what was I going to say? Um, oh, in this case here, I'm saying, okay, section one, membership nav overlay center and delete it. Okay, so this part would have been up here and I deleted it out. Now, if you want this same button, Wasabi OTO button, we'll call it, for every single section, then you don't need the part where it says section right here. So you could take out this and it will do it for all of the sections. So you'll have exactly the same button for all the sections. So you would take it out of both of these elements right here. However, you can make this specific to the section. So every single section can get a different button. It can get different text. And truthfully, you could put, like I said, I was doing it with text here. I didn't like it so much. You could put an image in here. You could just drop an image in here. You could make a little banner ad or something even so that when somebody hovers over it, that banner ad pops up right there. So there's all kinds of possibilities on what you can do once we basically kick out uh, what CF is doing and put in our own stuff. So anything you want to put in there, uh, you can. And then, like I said, uh, if you want to have it per section, then you want to make sure you put in your section one, two, three, four, five, uh, whichever it is for it. And then let me just make sure there wasn't anything else on there. And I'll, I'll drop this code into you guys, of course. And um, so then that's it. Let me make sure I save this over here. I think I told you everything we needed to do. So, uh, well, actually, I didn't explain the second line. Let's uh, take a look at this. Um, so on the second line, I'm saying take this thing that I called the Wasabi OTO button. I gave it that data title. So where did I do that? I went in here, opened this up, click on the hashtag Wasabi OTO button right there. Make sure you click on update after you change that. And then back to our tracking code. So we have our data title equal to Wasabi OTO button and then append to this membership nav overlay in section number one. And so if you wanted to do this differently for number two, number three, number four, first off, to get rid of all of the old content, you could just take out section one here and it'll remove all the other stuff. So all the other stuff would be gone. Just by taking that out, it'll target then every single one of the membership nav overlays and knock them all out. And then you can come in with your button and you can change it as per section. So like I said, you could have uh, button number one would go to section one, duplicate this line right here, drop it down here, have Wasabi OTO button number two, go to section number two, et cetera, et cetera, down the page. And like I said, it's not just buttons, images, text, whatever you would like, even an icon or something you could uh, drop in there. And so, like I said, let's take a look at this. Let's reload the page and let's see what it looks like with that dark red background I put on it. And it doesn't look much different than it did before. So you might, you want a much brighter red or a blue or something like that to really get somebody's attention when you hover over the top of it. But I think that was it, and I think that uh, ended up being a pretty good solution for this whole thing is just to kick out what CF did, and then let's build our own thing and stick it in there. So that's all I got. Let me know if you got any questions.